we will talk about martingale it is one of the important random processes and one of the pioneer of this process is joseph l dub a famous american mathematician in the case of markov chain we exploited the conditional independence between random variables martingale uses conditional expectation so that is the difference between these two process in the case of a uh, martingale uh, we exploit the conditional expectation between random variables uh, we will start with the definition of conditional expectation let us recall the definition the conditional expectation of a random variable y given x is equal to small x is defined by this relationship if x and y are continuous then in the case of it is integration y conditional pdf of y given x dy so this is the definition for a conditional expectation of y given x is equal to x when x and y are continuous similarly when x and y are discrete when x and y are discrete in that case this is defined by the sum and that is y p y x this is the conditional pmf of y given that x is equal to small x and where y belongs to the range of uh, range of y because y is a random variable it will have some range so for all those y we have to consider this sum so that way uh, we define the conditional expectation and similarly we can define conditional expectation of x given that y is equal to small y there is an interpretation of conditional expectation which makes it practically very useful let us see this uh, interpretation given x is equal to small x the base guess for y under the minimum mean square error criterion is e of y given x is equal to small x suppose we have an observation small x and y is a related random quantity and we want to guess what is the best value for y now uh, we can uh, get this suppose this guess will be a function of x so that way we will consider suppose this is the guess for y now what we want to uh, do is that minimize y minus x set of x so this is the mean square error now this is the uh, this we have to minimize with respect to all the possible function x set x so minimize this with uh, minimize this function over all possible x set of x so uh, if we carry out the minimization then we arrive at this relationship that base value of x at x optimum is equal to e of y given x is equal to small x so uh, therefore uh, if we have observed x then what is the base guess for y that is the conditional expectation that's why conditional expectation is very important and uh, uh, when i uh, plot suppose this conditional expectation as a function of x because it is a function of x this is known as regression of y on x conditional expectation as a random variable note that e of y given x is equal to x is a function of x so therefore using this function we can define a random variable gx gx that is equal to e of y given x when this part is random uh, so all possible values of x if we have to consider then this is a uh, function of a random variable and uh, that way conditional expectation will be now a random variable in terms of x uh, we can similarly define conditional expectation here we have defined conditional expectation of y given x but we can define conditional expectation of a, a, a random variable given multiple random variables suppose e of y given that 
x similarly e of x n plus 1 given x n x n minus 1 x n minus 2 etc. Because this uh, definitions are important for us. Now, we will discuss one important theorem what is known as the total expectation theorem. Now, it states that expected value of E of y given x is equal to E y because E of y given x is a function of x. So, if we take the expectation with respect to x then we will get E y. Proof we will prove this E of E of y given x by definition because uh, that outer expectation is with respect to x and therefore, we will write it as integration f x of x dx of e of y given x is equal to small x. Now, this quantity we can write as uh, integration from minus infinity to infinity y f of y given x point at point y dy then this is f x dx. Now, this quantity suppose if I separate out this dy dx now we have the product of uh, f x of x and this conditional p d f. Now, this quantity is nothing but the joint p d f. So, that way we arrive at in double integration of y into joint p d f at x y dy dx. Now, uh, note that uh, this is there is no function of x therefore, we can integrate with respect to dx this quantity and that will give us the marginal density f y of y and what we are left with y f y of y dy that is equal to uh, integration of that over minus infinity to infinity and that is equal to e of y. So, what we have observed then expected value of conditional expectation of y given x. So, this is a random variable if I take the expectation of this with respect to x then I will get e of y. So, this is an one important result. One similar result that we will be using later on. Uh, now, here conditional expectation with respect to two random variable. So, uh, e of the again this is conditional expectation conditional expectation of y given z x. So, th but this one is conditional expectation with respect to x. Therefore, what we can say that conditional expectation with respect to x of condition conditional expectation of y given z x is equal to conditional expectation of y given x. So, this is the uh, result we will establish and later on we will use this result. Now, let us first e of y given z x. So, for a particular value of z and particular value of x this can be written as the integral minus infinity to infinity y small y and then conditional pdf into dy. Now, we know that conditional pdf is joint pdf by uh, marginal pdf. So, that way we have uh, this joint pdf f y z x at point y z x divided by the marginal p d f which is nothing but the joint p d f of uh, z and x. Uh, now, we will write this expression. So, this conditional ex, uh, expectation now e of y given uh, z is equal to small z x is equal to small x given x is equal to small x. So, what we will get because now it will be conditional expectation with in terms of x. So, that way uh, and this term is a function of z and x. So, that way uh, now conditional uh, p d f will be uh, that is conditional p d f of z x given x is equal to small x that way we can write. So, what we have established. So, this quantity into this conditional p d f and then integrate with respect to z. So, this is the uh, conditional expectation. Uh, now, uh, we will substitute this quantity that is equal to integration of y this is joint p d f at y z x divided by f z x of x z x dy into this conditional p d f. 
So, we have used this relationship here. Uh, now, we will uh, bring dy this side and then carry out the manipulation. We see that f z x given x is equal to x that we can write as f z x at z is equal uh, at point z, z x divided by f x of x. So, that this and this will get cancelled. So, what we will have? Uh, this term integration y this joint pdf divided by f x of x dy dz. Again we see that uh, this term there is no other term involving uh, z therefore, we can integrate this term with respect to z. So, that we will get the marginal pdf of uh, f margin, marginal pdf f y x. So, that if we integrate this quantity with respect to dz, what we will left with f y z of uh, at point y x. So, that, that is what we have written here divided by f x of x now only one integral dy. So, that way this is the result and this is and this is nothing but the conditional pdf this quantity is conditional P pdf f of y given x at point y. So, if we integrate y into this conditional pdf with respect to dy, then we will get e of y given x is equal to small x. Okay? Now, considering this as a function of random variable, we will get this result e of e of conditional expectation of y given z x. this given x is equal to e of y given x. So, this is the result we have established. So, with this background now we will go to definition of martingale. Now, a martingale is a random process in which the best estimate of future value condition on past including the present is equal to the present value itself. So, we know about the past values, we know about the present values, what is the best estimate for the future value. So, if the process is martingale, then that predicted value is the present value itself. Uh, this is an abstract mo model of a fair game. The expected portion after a base should be equal to the present portion itself. So, that is the model of a fair game because uh, there is a uh, probability of losing and winning half half. So, in that case the expected value expected portion after the bet should be equal to the present portion itself. Uh, this uh, martingale is widely used in many engineering applications and particularly stochastic finance etcetera. So, that way martingale is a very important process and here uh, the future prediction is the present value itself. We will now formally define a martingale process. A discrete time random process x n n greater than equal to 0 is called a martingale process if for all n greater than equal to 0 e of mod of x n is finite that is uh, mod of x n has finite average value. Number 2 the conditional expectation of x n plus 1 given x 0, x 1 up to x n is equal to x n. So, this is the important property the conditional expectation of the future value given the past values and the present value is the present value itself. So, e of x n plus 1 given x 0, x 1 up to x n is equal to x n. So, this is the martingale property. Now, if the uh, equality sign here there is a equality sign that it is equal to x n is replaced by less than then x n uh, that is uh, less than inequality. If we uh, replace this equality sign by less than inequality then the process x n is called a super martingale. So, in the case of a super martingale process this conditional expectation is less than x n. And if we replace this e equality by 
greater than inequality, then this process is called a sub martingale. So, we have defined martingale, super martingale and sub martingale. In the case of martingale, this is exactly equal to x n. In the case of super martingale, it is less than x n and in the case of uh, uh, sub martingale, it is greater than x n. We will consider one example, consider the sum process x n n going from 0 to infinity. So, here we define x n is equal to summation z i i is equal to 1 to n for n is equal n greater than equal to 1 and x 0 is equal to suppose 0. Uh, now, uh, we have to prove that this x n is a martingale. So, how do I prove? So, uh, we will prove this. So, we see that x of n plus 1 is equal to summation z i i going from 1 to n plus 1. So, this I can write because I can write this as summation up to n then it will become x n plus z of n plus 1. So, what we have written x of n plus 1 is equal to summation uh, z i i is equal to uh, 1 to n plus 1 and then this is equal to uh, I can write z i i is equal to 1 to n plus z of n plus 1. So, that way I get that x n plus z of n plus 1. Now, uh, let us find out the conditional expectation of x n plus 1 given x 0 x 1 up to x n. Now, we have a sum therefore, it will be conditional expectation of this sum given this random variables. So, now first one we can write E of x n given x 0 x 1 up to x n plus E of z n plus 1 given x 0 x 1 up to x n. Now, in the first case because we are given x n therefore, expected value of x n will be x n itself. And second case now uh, this z of n plus 1 is independent of all past values ok because this quantity uh, x 0, x 1, x n they are function of z 0, z 1 up to z n. So, th in that way z of n plus 1 is independent of this quantity therefore, we can write it as E of z n plus 1 and this quantity is 0, E of z n is given to be 0 therefore, this is equal to x n. So, therefore, if we have a suppose some process where each increment has 0 mean E of z n is equal to 0 and they are identically distributed independent and identically distributed in that case uh, this process will be a martingale process. Now, here z n is 0 mean suppose instead of z, z n has a constant mean mu not equal to 0. In that case x n is a super martingale if mu is less than 0 and sub martingale if mu is greater than 0. So, that way uh, this example in this example itself if z i s are suppose uh, non zero mean in that case it can be either sub martingale or super martingale if uh, mean is greater than 0 then it will be a uh, sub martingale and if mean is less than 0 it will be a uh, it will be a super martingale. So, we gave the example of martingale, super martingale and sub martingale. We will consider another process, consider the product process x n n going from 0 to infinity given by x n is equal to product of z i i going from 0 i going from 0 to n suppose. Uh, z n is a sequence of i i d random variable suppose and we assume that e of z n is equal to 1. So, each of z n has the same expected value 1, non zero expected value 1 and x 0 is equal to 1. So, in that case we can write x of n plus 1 that is equal to product of i uh, from i is equal to 0 to n plus 1. Then I can write similarly like in the previous case x of n plus 1 is equal to product of z i i going from 0 to n plus 1 that I can write as product of i going from 0 to n z i into z i. 
now this is my x n and this is z i. So, that z of n plus i no z of n plus 1 this is z of n plus 1. So, if I take the conditional expectation now e of x n plus 1 given x 0 x 1 up to x n. Now, uh, that will be conditional expectation of x n into z of n plus 1 given x 0 x 1 up to x n. Now, there are two product of two terms and we know that z of n plus 1 is independent of x n. So, that way we can write uh, e of x n given x 0 x 1 up to x n multiplied by e of z of n plus 1 given x 0 x 1 up to x n. Now, uh, I know that given x n this quantity will be x n itself into e of z of n plus 1. Now, z of n is a sequence with unity mean therefore, this quantity will be 1. So, we will get x x n itself. Therefore, this sequence x n product sequence which is a product of i i d random variables with uh, unity mean x n is a sequence of product product of random variables with unity mean then uh, this sequence is a martingale. So, we saw that the sum process as well as this product process are martingale. Next, we will define what is known as dupe type martingale. Consider two discrete time random processes x n, n greater than equal to 0 and y n, n greater than equal to 0. Then this process x n is called a dupe time martingale process with respect to this auxiliary process y n, n greater than equal to 0. If for all n greater than 0, this sequence x n sequence is has finite absolute mean e of x n, e of mod of x n is less than infinity and e of x n plus 1 given y 0, y 1 up to y n. This is with respect to that y n process e of x n plus 1 given uh, y 0, y 1 etcetera up to y n is equal to x n itself. So, this is the definition of dupe type uh, martingale. And now, we will give one example. Suppose the random process y n is given by y n is summation uh, z i is a symmetrical random work process and y 0 is equal to 0. That uh, y n itself is a martingale process. Then the random process x n is equal to y n square minus n is also a martingale with respect to y n and greater than equal to 0. So, uh, now because symmetrical random work, so in that case this is a sum process with uh, uh, average of the increment 0. Therefore, it is a random work process. Now, we are considering another process x n which is equal to y n square minus n we have to prove that this is a dupe type martingale with respect to y n. Uh, let us see the proof x of n plus 1 is equal to by definition y n plus 1 square minus n plus 1 that is equal to now we know y n plus 1 is y n plus z n plus 1 whole square minus n plus 1 minus of min n plus 1. Now, this whole square we can uh, we can expand y n square plus z n square plus twice y n into z n plus 1 minus n plus 1. Now, we have to take the conditional expectation of e of x, uh, x n plus 1 given y 0 y 1 up to y n. So, that way we will get e of y n square given y 0 y 1 up to y n e of z n plus 1 square given y 0 y 1 up to y n and like that uh, this quantity twice of e of y n into z n plus 1 given y 0 y 1 up to y n and minus this quantity. Okay. Now, uh, given y 0 y 1 up to y n e of y n square will be y n square itself. Similarly, e of z 1 plus 1 square because we have considered a symmetrical random work process which takes 1 
with probability half and minus 1 with probability half so that will uh, this e of z n square z n plus 1 square is equal to 1 and now y n is independent of uh, independent of z n plus 1 so that way we uh, conditional expectation of the product we can write that it is conditional expectation of y n into e of z n plus 1 and conditional expectation of y n given y n is y n itself and e of z n plus 1 is equal to 0 minus n plus 1. So, that way we will get y n square minus n that is equal to x n. So, therefore, x n n going from 0 to infinity is a dupe type martingale. So, we gave an example of dupe type martingale. Next, we will discuss properties of a martingale process. Now, uh, there are different interesting properties. First, we will prove a simple property that martingale has a constant mean. That is, if x n is a uh, martingale, e of x n is equal to constant for all n, for all n. How we can prove this? Uh, we know that uh, since x n is a martingale process, process therefore uh, what we will have e of x n plus 1 given x 0 x 1 up to x n is x n itself. So, taking the uh, expected value both side now uh, because this this is a conditional expectation now if I take the expected value of this what we will get uh, that is e of this quantity is equal to e of x n right hand side will be e of x n and this left hand side will be the expectation of the conditional expectation. Now, uh, we uh, uh, discuss about the total expectation theorem. So, according to that theorem this conditional expectation will be e of x n plus itself therefore, e of x n plus 1 e is equal to e of x n. So, x of n plus 1 and x n have the same mean. So, continuing in the similar manner we can show that e of x n plus 1 is equal to e of x n is equal to e of x n plus 1 etcetera up to e of x n x 0 is equal to a constant. Therefore, what we have proved that e of x n is constant for all n for a martingale process x n. So, this is the uh, constant mean property of martingales. Let us summarize the class. So, uh, like uh, Markov chain which exploited conditional independence, Martingale exploits conditional expectation. And one important uh, result we saw that E of y given x is equal to x is the minimum mean square estimation of y given x is equal to small x. Therefore, uh, this uh, conditional expectation is important because it directly give the minimum mean square estimation and it is used in prediction. Uh, also, we see that conditional expectation of y given x is equal to x is a function of x. Thus, it defines a random variable e of y given x. And also, we studied the total expectation theorem that is e of e of y given x is equal to e of y. Next, we define Martingale, a discrete time process x n is called a martingale process if for all n greater than equal to n, e of mod of x n is finite and e of x n plus 1 given x 0, x 1 up to x n is x n. So, conditional expectation of future value given values up to present is equal to present value itself. If the equality sign is uh, in this expression is replaced by less than inequality, then x n is called a super martingale. And if it is replaced by a uh, greater than inequality, greater than inequality, it is called a sub martingale. So we know the definition of super martingale and sub martingale as well. Now uh, we define another type of martingale process what is known as the dupe type of martingale process. 
a random process x n n greater than equal to 0 is called a dupe type Martingale process with respect to an auxiliary process y n n greater than equal to 0 if for all n e of mod of x n is less than infinity that is finite and conditional expectation of x of n plus 1 given y 0 y 1 up to y n is equal to x n. So, then we started with uh, one interesting property of the Martingale process that a Martingale has a constant mean. What does it say? That E of x n is equal to constant for n greater than equal to 0. Thank you.